On the hot seat today, we put the spotlight on healthcare startup IU Health Hospitals. The venture has a network of 70 plus hospitals across India and it recently raised $27 million in its Series B funding round led by Fundamentum Partnership, an early growth stage fund founded by Nandan Nilekani and Sanjeev Agarwal. With this fundraise, Pratik Jain of Fundamentum Partnership would be joining the IU Health Board as well. The venture is also eyeing 10x growth by the end of this year. To talk about the road ahead at IU Health, joining me now is its co-founder and CEO Himesh Joshi. Himesh, welcome to Startup Street. Now, the last two years exposed the shortcomings of the existing healthcare system, a lack of defined treatment protocols, lack of transparency and pricing, and a general lack of infrastructure. You know, all of this has come to the light. What is unique about your business model? Uh, Himesh, tell me, how are you supporting healthcare delivery and solving the gaps I just mentioned? Thanks, Shruti. First of all, uh, thank you for having me over here. Uh, I think you you sort of mentioned my pitch uh, already, right? Like there is a lot that is broken in the healthcare ecosystem today. Uh, for an average patient, it starts right from the fact that there is no go-to brand that most people have, which can guarantee good clinical outcomes. Uh, on top of that, uh, the experience leaves a lot to be desired. I keep talking about how healthcare is probably the only sector which has not been disrupted meaningfully yet by technology. The way we go to hospitals or experience we have in the hospital, it's still the same as what it was a decade back, which is something I can't say for any other sector. And lastly, transparency in pricing is, is also a huge problem. And, and those are the three pillars on which the IU Health brand is built. Uh, we're building a branded hospital chain. The idea for us is to be the go-to brand for the average patient today who does not have a brand of choice. Most people, uh, you know, in India, there's only a few brands. You can count them on your fingertips. And most people don't have access to those brands. IU Health wants to be that brand. Uh, we are unique in the sense that uh, unlike the traditional hospital chains, which were built on the back of either owning or operating own hospitals, we actually work with uh, existing hospitals. We work with existing doctor entrepreneurs who have set up really high quality hospitals, but don't sometimes have the ability to run the entire operational backbone around it. So we partner with these existing hospitals, we co-brand them. Uh, to begin with, we drive more demand to these hospitals and make them financially viable. But over sure. time, we also give them this quote-unquote operating system that helps them run the hospital. Sure, Himesh, and I'll, and I'll get that, uh, you know, in just a bit. You mentioned transparency, and IU Health claims that patients are offered a standard pricing package for most treatments and procedures. Tell me how we are bringing in transparency in pricing and standardization of treatment protocol. Basically, how are you building trust among patients? Absolutely. So, look, uh, for us... On, in terms of price, one of the things that we have uh, we've done is for most surgical procedures, we offer a fixed price package. It's a 100% fixed price package. So the moment the patient goes to a doctor, the moment the diagnosis is done, uh, the price is fixed. And what that means is that the price does not change after hospitalization. So the price of the procedure remains the same, irrespective of the number of days you spend in the hospital, irrespective of whether uh, you know there's an extra dietitian consultation that had to happen. So all of those things are covered. And, and that's fundamentally unique. Uh, because patients who pay in cash especially are used to being fleeced today, if I can use that word. Uh, you, you end up going into the hospital with a certain expectation and you walk out having paid 20-30% more than, than what you had expected. And it usually leaves a very sour taste in the mouth. So that's, that's, that's one of our core promises. Uh, you also talked about how the brand builds uh, trust. And to me, trust is not just pricing, it's also quality. Uh, you know, ultimately, people don't recover you can have the best pricing in the world and it still not be relevant. True. Uh, and the one thing that we do really well uh, is we have a very robust quality audit system. So we don't work with the hospital until our internal quality team has given a sign off. All right. Once we partner with the hospital, we continue to audit them every three months. We look mm -hmm. at outcomes for each patient that passes through us. And whenever we see patients not recovering in line with the expected protocols, uh, we would take that up with the okay. hospital and help them improve okay you know you currently have over 70 hospital partners in india you know like you were mentioning earlier tell me how are you digitizing the operations of hospitals what kind of technological upgrades are you providing them yeah so see this is uh to, for us digitization is a combination of a lot of small things um, and, and i'll give you a very simple example uh, today what digitization means for a lot of hospitals is uh, uh, you have a prescription being written on a piece of paper by the doctor and it's scanned and then you know, in great cases, you will probably get that on WhatsApp. That for me is not digitization. Digitization is if you are recommended a test, uh, that is what that, that's read by our system. And by the time you walk out of the doctor's cabin, there is a link on WhatsApp, which is a single click checkout 
uh, where you pay and the phlebotomist at your doorstep in 60 minutes by the time you reach home for the test. Okay. Uh, and, and we're doing a lot of such things. So mm -hmm. the idea is that right from the moment the patient logs online to find a doctor or find a doctor, uh, sure. find a hospital, till the moment they are getting out of the hospital after a potential uh, procedure, uh, we will digitize that entire experience and we'll digitize it in a way that it meaningfully influences the experience. Okay. Okay. Himesh, you know, you've raised your Series A funding of $6.3 million. You raised that in September last year. You've now raised $27 million in Series B funding. What is the current valuation of IU Health? And take me through the allocation of funds, the new offerings that are there. Sure. So, uh, look, I I'll talk about what we're trying to do with this. And, uh, you know, we, we raised something last year. We actually have a lot of it sitting in the bank still. Okay. Uh, but the idea for the last round was do two things well. First was get into Bangalore, get uh, you know get get this to work in a very hyper competitive market that a bangalore is and secondly also prove out other parts of the business till till at least nine 12 months back we were still a business that was focused on generating more demand for our hospitals um since then we have diversified we have built products we've built uh, services for the hospitals where we help them process insurance claims we help them buy drugs and consumables we help them manage the inventory uh, we help them with diagnostics sure and all of that is what has now gotten us the comfort that you know we can now take this to the next 100, 200 hospitals. Uh, so this round, uh, as you mentioned, has been led by Fundamentum. They're putting a 10 million check, but we've also had our existing investors double down. Uh, a lot of our angels also have participated again, uh, which to us is a very strong vote of confidence. Um, and Stellaris uh, and, and Vertex have both also gotten a few of their LPs along. Okay. All right, Imish, we've completely run out of time and I wish you the very best with all your uh, growth plans and the growth targets that you've set for yourself. Many thanks for joining us on the show today. Thanks a lot. Pleasure to be here.